What's good everybody, Jason Walsh from Half Ape Calisthenics. So, um, a quick little video on joint strength. Yeah, should you be looking at your joints? Yes or no? Um, before I get into it, I'll just tell you what's inspired this video in the first place. I've just been on Facebook um, and I've seen a young lad, he's in the gym, he's on a resistance machine, he's doing shoulder press, he's got to the apex of the movement, locked out his joints, and the load's been too much for the giant. And, well, you can imagine what happened. It was pretty grim. Elbows give way. Um, now, does that mean that we never lock out our joints? Ever? Uh, no. Yeah? That's like saying, uh, <laughs> as I see, you're too scared to get a cold. Yeah? So you stay indoors or you stay in a bubble um, instead of boosting your immune system. Yeah? That's, good. That's there to deal with this kind of shit. Yeah? So, when should you lock out your joints? When you're doing strength. Okay, now the reason why you do it is because every time you lock out your joint, your tendon is being worked. Yeah, tendons are critical for joint strength and stability. Now, um, if you're doing muscle building, yeah, you don't want to be locking out your joints. Yeah, one of the things that is required to build big muscles is called time under tension. Okay, and what we try and do is try and keep as much intensity on that muscle as possible. Yeah, as we make our way through the rep range. Now, um, so don't lock out your joints doing hypertrophy. But if you're on a hypertrophy program, make sure, yeah, you have a phase at the beginning that is strength based, yeah, which is gonna prep these joints ready for what's about to come as soon as we advance into the hypertrophy phase, okay? Um, so really, that's four weeks, one mesocycle, yeah, that I always do, myself, my clients, everything, yeah? We always do a, a strength phase before the hypertrophy phase. Now, um, can you have very strong muscles and weak joints? Hell yeah, you can. Yeah, a good example, I can't remember what the guy's name is to be honest, um, but it was a bodybuilding competition. Uh, this guy is absolutely jacked, comes to the center of the stage, spotlights on him and whatnot, and he performs what in gymnastics or in calisthenics we call a planche. For those that don't know what a planche is, it is pretty much a push-up position where your elbows are locked. Um, and feet are elevated in the ground and we're leaning forward as much as possible, pretty much distributing our weight and hands are in line with the hips. Anyway, uh, this dude, he comes out, performs a planche, two, three seconds and all of a sudden, <laughs> bicep tears, yeah? The tendon for the bicep connecting it to the elbow is not strong enough, yeah? Because that guy has, this is an assumption, but that guy has predominantly stayed in hypertrophy phases, yeah? So he's probably stayed in that. Time under tension, not looking out the joints, okay? So, just make sure joints are strong and your muscles are strong. Easy, right? So there you have it. Yes and a no.